Hi, welcome to a short video that is going to show you the details of connecting the XDJ1000 uh, or it could be the CDJ900 Nexus, it probably works in the same way. But here we're going to connect the XDJ1000 to Tractor 2.7.5. Uh, so this is going to be a short demonstration of how it works and also the features that are available within uh, within Tractor and on the XDJ1000. So briefly, uh, briefly just covering the connections to the uh, the laptop, which is a, uh, a MacBook Pro, uh, 13 inch. Uh, obviously, only two USBs on the MacBook Pro. So this USB here is connected to my DJM850 below. So that's connecting the uh, the same card, which is a, uh, uh, works all four channels, uh, although we're only gonna be using two for this demonstration. And then I've got uh, three items wired into the uh, the USB hub, uh, which you can see there. It's actually non-powered uh, because I've run out of plug sockets, but uh, it, uh, it seems to be working fine, although I'd probably plug it in in a live environment rather than just a test environment. Uh, there's three items plugged in there. There is the uh, XDJ1, uh, XDJ2, and also the uh, the Tractor X1 controller as well, which is my uh, previous controller that I used to use. And I've also uh, mapped that in successfully as well, just by plugging and playing. So uh, I'll show you exactly what that does as well. The other thing that I would uh, that I would add is that I am running the latest version of the firmware on the XDJs, uh, which is version 1.0.4. Uh, it's I don't think it's essential for this, um, but it is advised always to go to the latest firmware. Uh, so uh, so I have done that. Each, each XDJ, you can see the uh, the USB coming out of the back. There's also a link cable as well. That's not required for this particular setup. And also uh, two audio cables as well. They're not required for this setup either because the uh, the sound is delivered from the laptop. But uh, this enables me to run it in different configurations and also to use the, uh, the USB stick uh, there, the USB if I needed to as a backup. So I can either use the laptop or I can use a, a USB stick to... Uh, to uh, play the, my uh, my tune. So it is, as I said, Tractor 2.7.5. It is um, as of today, which is the 15th of April 2015, uh, still in its beta form. Um, so obviously don't use this for your gigs, um, but it's fine to play around uh, with at home. I've actually put this on my backup laptop, uh, so, and I can always get back to the old version anyway so that uh, nothing is affected and I can just try this out and see how it works. Uh, I think it's been a, a long time anticipated uh, tractor or native instruments opening up the uh, the Pioneer platform to, uh, to tractor. It's certainly been limited to some of the older models uh, and now uh, getting this certainly on the XDJs is uh, a breath of fresh air and also um, changed my decision to uh, to purchase as well. And uh, so I had to kind of rush out and buy a pair. Uh, and uh, so let's see what it does. So when you turn your XDJ on and you're connected to Tractor with Tractor open, you'll notice that um, when you go into link, instead of it linking to the to the other player, uh, it prompts you to, uh, I don't know whether you can just about see that, push to connect and connect it to the laptop. Now it does say USB MIDI mode, um, but I haven't done any MIDI mapping at all. Um, so this is the HID mode that is being used. So there's no MIDI mapping at all being used here. I haven't done any MIDI maps. I haven't loaded anything into Tractor. Uh, it is exactly um, out of the box. So I haven't loaded any additional um, files onto Tractor um, to, to make it work. So push to connect. And then I can select my deck. Uh, this is on the left-hand side. So uh, I will select deck A. 
and there you go you can uh, you can now see the tracks within tractor and i can now browse the tracks you can see the artwork uh, this is a fairly fairly short list of tracks but you can also see when i turn as well you can see that it is browsing up and down there as uh, as well so as i said now that i've taken it out of search mode which explains why i had the short list uh, i can browse up and down my tracks from the xdj or i can browse them on the computer as well and so on and so forth so if i go ahead and select uh select one of the tracks which i'm just going to select a house uh house drum track uh, so that youtube don't take me down uh, by using someone else's music i'll show you some of the facilities that are available on the uh, on the XDJ using tractor mode, so you can see that it has uh, it has displayed the uh, the waveform there. You can see the track number. Uh, not sure why it's flickering actually. That's uh, quite interesting. Um, and uh, you can also see if I take it out of browse mode, you can see that it doesn't display the extended waveform. Um, it, so uh, so you you can only see that. On the laptop, you can see the extended waveform, and then on here, you can see just a shortened uh, version of the uh, of the waveform. There is um, so your play and uh, and cue controls work uh, as you would expect. So also pretty immediate, and your play control, uh, which uh, which stop starts and stops you. And you can see exactly where you are on the track, both there and there as well, uh, which is uh, which is pretty handy. Um, so your speed controls uh, all work. So if we just uh, we just go back to the track and just play again, you can see that I can speed up the track. You can hear that speed up and down. And master tempo on and off also works as well. So you can have master tempo mode, uh, which aligns the master tempo on tractor as well. So that's pretty handy. Also, you can change the mode for the uh, the tempo, the tempo wide. So we can, if I can just get that in, you can see that just changing there. So you can go all the way to wide if you want to. Again, wind this back. All the way back to 100. As well, so you can do all those little tricks. And of course, Spin backs you can do on here as well, which is which is nice. So other things that you will have noticed, I'll just turn this uh, down a little bit. Is uh, obviously vinyl mode works as we said. You've also got the ability to nudge the track with the outer jog wheel, and also turn vinyl mode off as well, so that you can slow that down and speed that up with the platter as well so that that works as well one thing i've noticed that doesn't work is the vinyl break adjust so if i just adjust that to there and then press play you've got an immediate stop so that's different to the way that the xd day works in uh, in standalone mode so there's no the vinyl knob doesn't have any function at all with the uh, with tractor so on to some other functions. So uh, let's just look at the uh, just look at the, the looping um, that you can do on uh, on here. So you can you can start set a loop. And yes, you can see that is looping, and you can also exit the loop, and then that will carry on as well. So that 
works. Um, also on the XTJ, you've got a loop mode as well. So if we just wind this back as well, you can set a loop mode. So if I want to set a loop, two bar loop, I can just do that directly on the screen and then I can just play. And you can see that that is looping there. And if I just turn loop mode off, you can see that that is looping there as well. So that is available uh, loop mode. Uh, so that's giving you uh, the loop modes within uh, <coughs> within uh, the XDJ available there. And also available is, uh, is slip mode as well. So uh, if I just turn off the loop for a second and rewind this back, uh, then you can do slip mode, which converts into the, the slip mode on a tractor. So, so that's available as well, uh, which is uh, also made available the, uh, the quantize mode so you can switch that on and off in here and that then s maps to the quantize mode or the s mode or the sync sorry you can just see it just there the sync mode within uh or the what do they call it uh it's not sync mode it's kind of like uh sync to the beats mode if you know what i mean so uh, and also there is available the uh, traditional sync mode between the decks as well. So sync is available as a feature on the XDJs anyway. Uh, so if I press uh, master and then sync, uh, that then has activated the sync mode within tractor there as well. So that is available. Uh, so you can, uh, you can run this as a uh, sync mode as well. If you uh, if you want to so another feature that you can use is to browse the cue points um, so you've got left and right arrows so you don't have buttons as such um, on the the XTJ you do have three hot cues but you don't it doesn't map to the eight uh, tractor cue points but you can access those by um, going left and right on these cue points and that will then move you along the track and you can see it moving as well on the screen there. Okay. And in fact, just as we're on the, <clears throat> the subject of cue points, you can uh, use those in perform mode as well. So the first three cue points will map to the hot cues within Tractor. So, so you can access um, any of the eight cue points using the arrows, but you can access the first three using um, the uh, the hot cues there. So here's, here's a track um, that I've got some cue points set up in. You can see those cue points there, and then I can uh, I can access those directly from here. We go. And uh, so far, I've I've only had the XD, XDJs for uh, about twenty four hours. But I found this to be uh, very responsive in terms of the way that it works in terms of the touchscreen. So it's like you can see that it's very fast and uh, and, and linked to links through to Tractor very very quickly. The beat slip function works as well, so you can see that that is working its way through the track. Four beats, four beats backwards, and that's also reflected on the screen as well. That's immediate as well. A couple of things that uh, that don't work in kind of from the the XDJ standalone mode. So there is there's no reverse on the uh, the vinyl, so that uh, that doesn't work. Uh, and the the other thing that doesn't work is that when you're browsing. So if I go back from perform and go browse, and then if I wanted to play, let's say. BGs, for example, tag list. Uh, sorry, press tag. Then that doesn't record in the tag list, so there isn't um, there isn't anything mapped to send that through to the preparation list in Tractor, which which would have been handy, um, but I can live without that because I can just drag the tra tracks on the laptop, but uh, that would have been uh, a little handy. Um, 
aside from that, you can see uh, pretty much everything really. So um, if, I, if I want to load a track, I can load the track. It doesn't tell me any more about the track with info, which you uh, you do get on the the XDJ. So here you can just see the uh, the tracks, but as you can see, I can browse. Um, let's say end of night tracks. I can go and browse my playlists, and then just pick a track, and then it's immediately loaded and. The end is near. I guess the last thing that I want to show you is just how this works with uh, with an additional controller in place as well. So I used to use the the X1. Uh, in fact, I still do use it. Uh, it's great for uh, using Tractor in kind of a, I guess a a light environment where you don't want to take the the XDJs with you and you just want to control play and pause and so on. Just for for mobile parties where you you know you're just literally pressing uh, pressing play. So. Um, You've still got the play controls here and they map through to uh, to the XDJ. So if I press play here, you can see the XDJ works because you've got HID controller here, HID controller here, and they all talk through Tractor. And you can also see that I can browse the tracks and so on. And I can also uh, control the loops. So I can change the loop size and you can see the loop size Going through there, and of course I've got access to all the tractor effects as well um, that are available through Tractor as well. So I can control the effects. Uh, so I'm not limited to the effects just on the um, DJM850. I can use those through uh, through Tractor as well. And also the other thing that I've got within here is of course eight hot cues accessible through here so I can uh, I can press play and then, and then assign those through here if I want to as well which is pretty useful so I think a conjunction of the XDJ and the X1 is going to provide me with something which is uh, which is really nice to use in uh, in kind of different environments but I just wanted to uh, to run through the features of Tractor, which hopefully I've covered in this uh, not so short video now. Uh, but if you've got any questions at all about this setup, as I say, it is brand new to me. Uh, I got the XDJs just yesterday. Uh, I've had Tractor for about five years. So uh, drop a message uh, below, and if there's anything you want to find out, then I will uh, I will endeavour to find it out for you and uh, and post an update video. Thank you.